Georgian superstar today, guys, as we look at Lupatiliani. We're going to look at his unique Kuchimata and his Makikomi, uh, this pin that I want to call the Lupatiliani pin, and some of his other throws that he likes to do. Anyway, let's get into the action, but make sure to subscribe and like the video. It helps me out a lot. Righto, so here we have a little freeze frame, and I just want to first point out his flexibility in his right hand. I don't know if anyone's ever been taught Uchimata before, but when I was taught Uchimata, I was told never to raise my elbow and never to do this, but I think Lipitiliani has figured out a way that works for him. Another freeze frame coming up, and I just want to point out how his Uchimata works. So what he's doing is he's creating three points of leverage with his right hand, left hand, and hip. And he ends up actually putting a lot of his body weight on his left hand as he rotates. So here we see it again. And what quite often happens is because he's got that high elbow is he'll eventually lose the grip. But by the time he's turned in, he's already got his body weight over his left hand and he can easily turn this into a makikomi. And because he's so good at positioning himself to get leverage on these three points, he's able to just kind of slowly adjust the position and then pull his opponent over. A lot of the times, you know, people think they're safe, but as you see here against Peltric, they eventually go over. And this technique works well as a Kenken Uchimata as well. You know, you set your position and then you get moving and hop, 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 hop the person over. Here we have a more classical Uchimata. But his right hand isn't doing much, I would say. It's good for the kind of Uchimata he does. More like in this example. Next up, another Kenken Uchimata, this time against Wolf. And I have a video about Wolf's Uchimata, so go check that out. For this one, you can kind of see the, the struggle Libertiliani has with the right hand. He doesn't get the lift that Japanese players seem to get with their right hand for their Uchimata. But as he changes the grip, he's able to you know, get his body weight on the left hand and roll over. And uh, this clip here really points out the, just the incredible body position that he's able to get and roll over his opponent just with that, that left hand. Here's another great example against a world champion at the time. And so because of the way he uses his right hand for his Uchimata, it's quite easy for him to transition into a Makikomi. And this will transition again into his Newaza, which I will show you guys in a minute. And here we have another Makikomi. Now the danger with doing this sort of move is getting picked up and thrown by an Uranage, but I think being Georgian, he's experienced Uranages enough in his life and he's comfortable dealing with them. Another throw almost identical to the last one. He goes in for the Uchimata first, but the right hand comes off, so he turns it into a Makikomi. And now I want to talk about his Newaza, the Lipitiliani pin. It's actually a Ura Gatame. But here we see the Uzbekistani going to the ground, which I definitely do not recommend against Lipitiliani. And what he's really good at doing is passing the leg but he doesn't do it in a traditional way. Many people would look to go to Kesagatame here by kicking out the knee, but he transitions to the other side because he wants to lock up this arm. And once he's locked up the arm, then he's gonna kick out the legs and roll over. And because he's got that arm, he's able to pin Uzbekistani down. And this is traditionally called uh, Uragatame, but I want to call it the Lipitiliani pin because you don't see it very often and Lipitiliani, he's always going for it, always attacking the ground. And this is probably a perfect transition here, how he would like to do it all the time, how he probably practices it. And one reason he's so good at this is because of how he does his Makikomi, his arm ends up in the same position. So he gets uh, lots of mat time practicing pressure on that arm. And the way he does his Uchimata as well, he's got a lot of flexibility in his arm. And in the initial position, in this turnover, you need, you need flexible shoulders. You put quite a lot of torque on the arm. So as he goes in here, the arm 
is locked up and you got to put a lot of torque on it as you roll them over but he's used to this from doing his uchimata and the most impressive thing to me is how he's able to lock up that arm and then somehow get his feet out and roll over at the same time while applying pressure on that arm so they don't escape he's really nailed all the elements of this pin the Libertiliani pin that's what we're going to call it and next up there's some of his other throws that he likes to do a lot of these are actually counters big uranagi there going with the flow of the momentum and here we have the European Judo Championships a nice Ippon Seoinage nice opportune for sweep there and at the World Championships in Tokyo 2019 stabs in for his Uchimata but the French person gets the inside position with the legs goes in for his Uchimata of his own and gets countered and Lipitiliani has quite a lot of these a lot of counters from uh, Uchimata stabs in with a foot sweep, another foot sweep, another one another foot sweep and then just decides to go for a sumigaishi and he practices with his newaza turning people over with his feet so good control there and another turnover this time on Paltrick Peter and Paltrick's worried about his hair always the pretty boy and next up against the Egyptian another counter So as we go through these last couple of uh, throws, most of them are counters. I just want to say, uh, Lipitiliani, he, he's got a core game plan. He's going to throw you with Uchimata, throw you with his Makikomi. He's going to attack the ground with his pin. And if not, he's going to counter you, uh, just like as we're seeing here. So fighting him, you know, you got to watch out for his Uchimata. I would never go to the ground with him. Seems like the Georgians are really working on their Nawaza. Um, and here's a nice Kataguruma. So he's got some variety there. Anyway, guys, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.